We begin tonight with Ocean Pines police who are investigating some uncommon crime in their usually peaceful town. Cars just Oops, like sorry, these, they've been that. broken into. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappé shows us what evidence the police currently have and why this spree of break-ins is surprising to the people who call Ocean Pines home. Car break-ins are out of the ordinary in Ocean Pines, and police say at least five cars have been stolen from just this week with one attempt being caught on camera. You could see here the person trying to open one of the doors before quickly walking away. Chief of Police Tim Robinson tells us multiple victims have reached out. We started getting calls first thing uh, yesterday morning at 8 a.m. for uh, three cars that have been broken into, and we've gotten some more during the day yesterday. We got another one this morning, and they're all in the same area. According to the Ocean Pines Police Department, the break-ins happened on St. Martin's Lane and Windjammer Road. They say all the cars were left unlocked overnight, which led to cash and personal property being taken. Robert Pellenbarg is shocked to hear about the break-in news. He thinks the thief isn't a local like him. I'm sure the increased activity in the summer is related to this uh, break-in stuff. While the police are still investigating the break-ins, they encourage everyone to always keep their belongings safe from harm's way. Please make sure you lock your cars don't take anything for granted, even though we do live in, in one of the most safe and beautiful environments in the state of Maryland, it can unfortunately happen anywhere. The Ocean Pines police tell me that they believe only one person is involved with the car break-ins, but they are still investigating. So if you see anything, make sure to give them a call. I'm Kevin Zappé in Ocean Pines, Coast TV News.